Only thing I knew when I come home, they say, you have to do homework. You know what I said? Fuck homework. Put that boxing tape on. Because if you think small, small things happen. I always dream big. I always believe. I believe in my team. This dream that I had, it started, you know, this dream that I had started years and years and years ago. You know, no matter what my dad did, you know, because he done whatever he, he had to do to give me the, a finer life, to give me a better life. To give me the best life that he could give me. And everything happens for a reason. Even when my dad was incarcerated and he went away, I still would hear his words in the back of my mind. Continue to work hard. Nothing is going to come easy. I worked hard, I worked extremely hard to get to this point. And every day I know I'm blessed. I'm truly, truly blessed. And I don't take anything for granted. And nobody in here can take anything for granted. Yes, everyone sees, you know, us on all access or when I was when I was with HBO 24-7, they see all the flashiness, all the the shit talking, the trash talking. I had a game plan. And when I say TBE, there's no disrespect to no legendary champion. Because anybody, every fighter that's in this room has to feel that he's the best. If not, you in the wrong sport. I put on my shoes, I put on my clothes like everyone in here. I have good days, I have bad days. I'm only gonna have my bad days in a boxing gym. Cause I'm an under the lights type fighter. Cause when I go under the lights, no matter how I win, I win. The name of the game is to hit and not get hit. When my career is over, I want to be able to spend time with my family, have, have all my faculties, be smart, be sharp, love life, and get that check every month. Some say the motivation is the belt. Some say motivation is the trophy. Well, I say motivation is the money for me. Because the money was able to put retire my mother put my dad in a comfortable a comfortable position put my kids in the best area i come from a rough background i come from a rough area it may not be brooklyn but they shoot just like they shoot just like they shoot in my neighborhood the same way i teach you how i teach you how to fish i don't fish for you i tell these guys I can put you in a position to fight for the title, but you have to win the fights. I can't fight for you. You guys are the you want to say that he's on my level. Well, I'm gonna let everybody know. Any fighter that you guys think is, ordinary, is, is extraordinary, Mayweather's gonna make him look ordinary. Stop arguing with, with social media. Don't, don't worry about these people. Because if you're doing bad, they're gonna talk about you. If you're doing good, they're gonna talk about you. But we'd rather be doing good and letting them talk. And our ultimate goal was to my ultimate goal was to become a hundred million dollar fighter. Once I seen guys like when Mike Tyson, and I seen it myself with my own eyes, when I seen that Bentley at the boxing gym, 
And I seen that diamond Rolex, I said, I want that. And I knew what it took. So I know when my opponent is asleep, I'm out there at four or five in the morning, chopping trees, working to this day. Cause I can retire today. I'm well off, very comfortable. But I got the will to win. I knew I wanted to be, I knew, I knew I wanted to be champion. And is the dream over? Absolutely not.